James Melendez, James the Wine Guy, here to share and celebrate this beautiful wine with you today. It's from Palmas Estate. Now they're producing some really beautiful wines. It's an old producer in uh, the Languedoc and uh, over 100 years old. And um, they're doing a pig pool de Penne. Now I've reviewed the GSM wine. This is uh, 2011 vintage. You see clusters of the pig pool. It's a, um, if you could say the mothership is in two locations, it's in France. It's one in the southern French region of the uh, Languedoc and the Coteau de la Languedoc specifically for this wine and also going to the Loire Valley. It's a fantastic variety, a curious name but a serious wine. I think for me it is uh, something to seek out. Now you can ask your wine merchant for just a pig pool. They'll know exactly what this is. So you can say pig pool de Penne but um, it's definitely understood it's just pig pool. Um, for me this is a just a handsome gorgeous wine to enjoy on its own but it's high acid point is compelling for food as well. Now we're in springtime. Uh, this is March 2013 or at least pr approaching it in uh, some parts of the country here in San Francisco yes. In other parts probably another two to three weeks away but as I say a white wine is durable and good year-round. Don't you want to start off your meals with a, a white wine and progress into a red wine later? I think for me it's just a, a beautiful way of sharing a bright wine on a cool, um, maybe snowy day even. Uh, but for me this is a gorgeous, fantastic variety that has so many flavor points and characteristics that I think are just um, a, a stunning success. Um, for the dinner table or the, your picnic basket and something that if you want to um, you know expand beyond Chardonnay and, and Sauvignon Blanc and I'm not going to um, you know give a, a bad uh, name to these uh, wine varieties they are very respected they're delicious I love them and uh, but I think it's one way to experience and go through and taste things and um, you know you know expand your wine horizons and your palates it's things you may have never had before maybe you've heard about but um, don't fear opening up a new variety because in this bottling here, you're just going to taste something that's just absolutely superbly aromatic, fresh, delicious, bright, and I think that's a nice way of enjoying a new variety. Here we go. I'll take a taste and give you a point score. Mm. Notes of both fresh and preserved Meyer lemons, green citrus zest, essence of white nectarine, white rose petal, and tea. I give this wine a 9.2 out of a 10.0 scale. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesthewineguy.com. Subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, and Pinterest. Salute.